could be more exciting than the opening of a new Wiz store? A double barrel grand opening. The Wiz is opening two new superstores at once. This Thursday, meet Hall of Famer Mickey Mantle at the Wiz in the Bay Plaza Shopping Center in the Bronx. Also Thursday, say hello to Islander superstar Pat LaFontaine at our new store in the Gateway Plaza in Patchogue. All 27 Wiz stores celebrate the double barreled grand opening of our two new locations in the Bronx and Patchogue. Now more of Wipeout. And here's Peter. I would act with the challenge round. We have with us Min and Mary. I think that is the greatest. Like Min and Mary. I, you guys should team up and go on the road. Well, there's no question about that. it. Get enough money. Six seventy-five men plus the hot spot. And Mary, you have five hundred dollars in cash. We're going to take that money and put it away for you, so it's yours to keep, no matter what happens. Because we're going to play a little different round this time. It's called the challenge round because. It is a challenge. Before we play it, John's going to tell you what you're playing for. John, give a clue. Oh, it's Puerto Rico, that lovely island for our challenge round winner. And they'll stay at the Condoto Plaza Hotel and Casino. Center of excitement and entertainment. Casino, fine dining, minutes from Old San Juan. The Condado Plaza Hotel and Casino. We'll fly you and a companion from Los Angeles, Puerto Rico, aboard Delta Airlines' award-winning service. You'll also experience the exclusive Crown Room Lounge in the new Oasis Terminal, all from Delta Airlines. The retail value of this trip, Peter, is over $2,800. Yes, it is. Puerto Rico, a lovely trip. And uh, you want to know how to get there? Let me tell you how you get there. You get off the freeway on Sepulveda, and you go down about... No, it's not right? No. Oh, they boo me now. Now they boo me. When I give them money, they love me, but when... thanks a lot. Okay, I'll give you money. Here's the way it works. Actually, the way you get there is with a board up there with 12 answers on it. Eight will be correct. Four will be wipeouts. Stay away from the wipeouts. We're going to have to pit the two of you against one another. I know it sounds awful, but that's the way the game's played. The first one to win two games, obviously the best two out of three, is going to go to Puerto Rico. And on the way, stop by and check out a little automobile, perhaps. Um, what we'll do is start off with Min, since he won the most money in round one, and I'll ask Min how many he can get right on the old board without wiping out. And after he gives me his bid, I will then go to Mary to see if she wants to increase that bid or if she wants to challenge Min on his. And we will seesaw back and forth until we get to the maximum number of eight bids or until one of you has the temerity to challenge the other. He's got a... he's a karate guy, Mary, so I'd be very careful. <laughs> now, once that player is challenged, he or she must give me all the answers in a row that they bid correctly or the other player can leap into the fray with only one right answer and win the entire board. Everybody got that? Okay, with that in mind, it is time to gaze at our board. Men, it's yours, and here it is. Let's see if you can get the blues from this board. Which of these things actually is or is called blue? Men, how many can you get right without wiping out? I'll say three. Three. There's the bid, Mary. It's three to you. You can either increase it or challenge. Four. I can get four. Four. Mary's come to play. Men, back to you. Uh, She's got half of them. Half of the eight is four. Five. Five. All right, he's over the go halfway mark. And Mary says, go for it. Says, go for it. <laughs> you set him up, Mary. Got that sweet little face, and Mary set him up. Ever <laughs> for five. All right, men, you give me five in a row, and you'll have the first board. If not, little Mary is going to jump in there with one right answer and take it. Okay, men, here we okay, go. Okay, here we go. Let's be with me. Here we go. I'm going to try Navy's Angels. Navy's Angels. Blue? Yeah, the Blue Angels. You got that right. Four to go. Our right, next door is Paul Bunyan's Babe. Let's check out Paul Bunyan's Babe and see if she's blue. Blue Ox. Indeed. Okay. Three to go, man. Uh, I'm going to go for Meanies and Yellow Submarine. Let's find out about the Meanies and the Yellow Submarine. Are they blue? Yeah, they're the Blue Meanies. Two to go, man. You're on a roll. Um, I'm going to try... Uh, oh, all right. Curly's Horse in Oklahoma. Curly's horse in Oklahoma. Was it a blue horse? Called blue. You got it. All right, men, all I need is one more, and you'll have the first board. Big Gamble, Brooks Lagoon. Brooks Lagoon. Was it blue? Yeah, I don't know what other color it could be. Blue Lagoon. You did it, men. Well done. You got the first board. And before we leave it, let's take a look at the other correct answers that are blue. Of course, Gainesboro's Blue Boy, Rogers and Hart's Blue Moon, and the star on the Israeli flag is blue. Those are the correct answers. The others were obviously wipeouts. Nice going, Min. When we come back, you will only need one game to uh, be on your way to Puerto Rico. Mary, you're going to need two, so you got your work cut out for you, but I have great confidence in you. And I have confidence in you people that you'll return to see the conclusion of this challenge round after these incredible words of wisdom from our local sponsors. Yeah. 
Thank you, we're back. Score men won and Mary nothing. I don't want to say anything, Mary, but men was starting to pack for Puerto, for Puerto Rico. So you got to be a little careful here. It is your board we're going to look at now. And are you ready? I'm ready. Let's look at it. All right, eight of these musicians or musical groups originally came from Great Britain. How many can you name without wiping out, Mary? Four. Four. That's half of them, men. What do you think? You want to increase the bid or challenge? Well, Mary, if I can get this white line out of the way, I'm going to go five. Five. Min is throwing down the belt to you, Mary. Five is the bid. Increase it or challenge no, it. You'll have to do it. You'll have to do it. Well, if he does, uh, Min will be in control. Min will win the game. He will be going to Puerto Rico. He'll probably drop us all a card, which would be nice, but I'm sure he'd rather go. And on the way, he might stop by and check out a car. Min, I need five in a row. Okay. Don't mess up. Here we go. Let's start with the birds. The birds. Uh, let's find out if that's a musical group from Britain. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, not the kind of start you wanted. Mary oh, no. liked that start. She did. And it's up to you, Mary. There are eight correct answers up there. Out of 11, give me one and you'll tie it up. That's all you have to do. What Alice Cooper? Alice Cooper from England. We'll find out. Yeah. Great Britain. Yeah. Uh -uh. From the US, uh, Phoenix to be exact. Men, you got a reprieve. Back to okay. you, five in a row. Rhythmics. The Arrhythmics from Great Britain. Yep, that's one. Four to go. Uh, the Who? The Who from Great Britain. Let's check them out. Yeah. Let's check them. Three to go. Fleetwood Mac. Fleetwood Mac. Is that group from England? Yes, it is. You have two to go, men. Uh, doors. The Doors. Is that group from Great Britain? Let's check them out. Yeah. Uh oh We've got a wipeout. Now, Mary, you're back in it. There are five correct. There is only one wipeout. Give me one of those five correct. You'll tie it. How about Joe Cocker? Joe Cocker. Are we talking Great Britain? Yeah, we are. You did it. Okay, Mary, you tied it up. Uh, stab in the dark, I got a feeling, but it doesn't matter. It's one to one. Let's look at the other correct answers. From England, we have the Kinks, Cat Stevens, and the Searchers as well as Joe Jackson, so you had a lot to go. Only Prince was not from Great Britain. We now have a tie score, one to one. That means we're gonna put up another board. This time, it is Min's board. And are you ready? Let's take a glance. Oh, a pretty funny board. According to Red Book, eight of these foods are heart smart because of their low amount of fat and cholesterol. How many can you name without wiping out, Min? Four. Four. That's half of them, Mary. What do you think? Five. Five. Mary went right to five. Men, are you back to you? Okay. I'm going to give it to you. Go give it to it. Mary is what he says. Uh, five in a row, Mary. If you get him, you'll walk away. You'll have to help men unpack, and you'll pack, because you'll be on your way to Puerto Rico. Here we go. Give me five. Okay. Uh, saltines. Saltines. Let's find out if it's low in fat and cholesterol. Yes, it is. 
Two grams of fat and one milligram of cholesterol. Okay, four to go. Buttermilk. Buttermilk. Is that another one that's low according to Red Book? Yeah, three and a half grams of fat and 25 of cholesterol, milligrams. And there's three to go. Um, fudgesicle. Fudgesicle. I'd like one right now. Let's find out if it's low in fat and cholesterol. Yeah, only three grams of fat, a smidgen of cholesterol, and you have only a smidgen to go, too. Uh, beef stew? Beef stew. Is that according to Red Book, low in cholesterol and fat? Yeah, five grams of fat, seven milligrams of cholesterol. All you need now is one more, and Mary, you will have won this round, and you'll be going to Puerto Rico, and you'll get a chance at the bonus. Coconut oil. Coconut oil. Is that, according to Red Book, low in fat and cholesterol? No. 10 to 14 grams of fat, and men, I know this may not be your area of expertise. No. There are four correct. There are three wipeouts. The odds are in your favor. If you give me one, you can continue to pack. Okay. And that Funicello, don't fake me out. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Let's find out if that, according to Red Book, is low in fat and cholesterol. Yes, it is. Three grams of fat, one milligram of cholesterol. Unbelievable. Men, you did it. Let's look at the other correct answers up there. According to Red Book, it's soy sauce, Canadian bacon, and pistachios. Those are the ones that are low, according to Red Book, in fat and cholesterol. And Mary, oh, so close. But you're leaving us with $500. Thank you. Thanks for being with us. Say hello to all you kids. Good luck. And we're talking men, Puerto Rico. Come on over here. Because before you go there, we're going to let you take a look at a car. And we'll let you folks take a look at it, too, when you come back after these words. Stay with us. Congratulations.